We welcome you to Jesus is the Answers Deliverance Sanctuary, located at 5723 Eggleton Road in Greensboro, where the pastor and founder is Bishop Clarence Humphrey and co-pastor Elder Grace Humphrey. If you need a church home or you want to come to visit us, our service starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Then Wednesday night is Unity Prayer at 7 p.m. following the Bible study. So make sure you come out to Jesus is the Answers Deliverance Sanctuary, located again at 5723. 23 Atkinson Road in Greensboro. For prayer or information about this awesome church, or you just need someone to talk to, it's 336-375-3999. Now get ready for a powerful word from Jesus is the Answers Deliverance Sanctuary.
Sister Mary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We honor our pastor. Praise God. A great man of God. A wonderful man. And a powerful man. Sometimes we fail to see it. But he's a powerful man. After all he's been through, he's still standing. Praise God, our wonderful pastor. I love you as my pastor, and I love you as my companion. Praise God, amen. We are our mother of the church, Mother Maggie, to our deacons. We thank God, Sister Jeannie, praise God. We indeed had a good time yesterday, all day long. Praise God, amen, sitting out in the cool. Praise God, it was a wonderful fellowship. But nevertheless, we're here this morning. Praise God, and we ask God to bless us from heaven, as he always does. Still a word, still a word to us. I need a word from the Lord, and I know that you do too. Praise God, because every day come by, we need a word from the Lord. Praise God, because if it wasn't for the word of the Lord, we could not make it. It's the word of God that helps us and carry us from one day to the other. Praise God. The word represents God himself. Praise God. Hallelujah. As we get ready to go into the word, we we'll you to stand as we read Acts third chapter. If you have your Bibles, follow along with me. Praise God as I read this. Praise God. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Beginning at the first verse, if you haven't said amen, amen. someone's still looking, say hold up. Praise God. God has been mighty good to us. Yes, yes, yes. He brought us this far. Yes. Safe and sound. He brought us all here this morning. Yes. Amen. I don't believe Amen. anyone had an accident on their way. That's why we're respecting the Lord today. Because that's how good he is. Praise God. All right, let's begin reading at that first verse. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John and said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise and, and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and his ankle bones received the strength. And he leaped up, stood, and walked, and entered into them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Let us bow our way here. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I come, Lord. Hallelujah, before your people today. God, I am just the vessel that you have chosen, God, and we want to use, God, and I am willing to allow you to use me today. For God, I cannot speak. Let the words that I speak, God, be that that comes from the Father, the Spirit of you, God, that's only inside of me right now. God, allow the anointing, hallelujah, to rest upon me. God, hallelujah, praise God, and I ask you, God, to allow the anointing to run through this 
building that can run from heart to heart and breast to breast. For God, we need a word from you, Lord. We need to hear from you today, God. I have already decreased, God, that you may increase with me. Well, God, open up my mouth, God, and speak, Lord, what thus says the Lord. Hallelujah to us today. He that have an ear, let us hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Amen. God here in this portion of scripture of the third chapter of Acts. I want to use today for a title, a Tyler, or a topic, what's keeping you from rising? In the form of a question, what's keeping you from rising? We see and we look at the scripture that we just read, there is a character that is known of a cripple. Uh, and he was laid daily before the gates of the temple, uh, which is called beautiful. Yeah. Right, right. You know, I, 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 as long as I have lived, I've never heard anyone, I've heard a lot of church names, but I've never heard anyone call it beautiful. Yeah. I think that's a beautiful name for the temple of God. But praise God, when I looked at this, they said that they laid him before the gates of the temple. Praise God, for everyone that was on their way in, he would ask alms of them. Seeing Peter and John on their way into the temple, he asked of them alms. Let me just take my time, praise God, because I, I want to just, I'm going to have to add me up here and there, praise God, but I, because I'm not, I've already read it. You can read it again if you want to. Praise God, but this is the way God gave it to me. Praise God, seeing Peter and John on their way to church, this, this lame cripple asked of them alms. And Peter and John, they spoke to him, and then they turned and they looked and they said, look on us, look on us. We don't have all and everything that the world today calls success. We are just labor, we're just two little old preachers, praise God, that's on our way to church. And I can imagine Peter and John, praise God, they probably look on they probably weren't trying to dress up in all of this fabulous stuff because they were, they walk with Jesus and Jesus already set an example for them. Right, right. So I can imagine them as they were going on their way to church. And this man, he said, Peter said, look on us. We don't have everything that, that the world called today uh, someone that's successful. Uh, but the man looked on him, and they, he wondered, and then still was waiting for them to give him something. Because it was in, in his pattern, everybody that went into the temple could lay something in his hand. No doubt some money or something or some food or something. Uh, but Peter says to him, silver and gold. I have none. Uh, but such as I have, I give thee. Uh, such as I have, I give thee. Uh, the man was expecting them to give him something. I know he was because that's what he was used to. But John and Peter said, we didn't come here to, to give you something that will keep you still here every day. We come, praise God, to do what they can give you something that you need more than anything else. We want to give you something that you really need. Now I'm pretty sure that the man's mind was pumped. He was wondering what in the world they talking about. And Peter said, this is it. He began to say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth. All right. All right. All right. I command you to rise up and walk. All right. All right. In the name of Jesus, I command you to rise up and walk. Right. Lord, not in my name. Peter said, not in my name. Not in John's name. But in the name of Jesus. 
command you to rise up and walk. Uh, How I many you know we don't have the power? It's not in Pastor Humphrey's name. It's not in Co-Pastor's name. It's not in Mother's name. It's not in Sister Dyke's name. It's not in Sister Gina's name. But it's in the name of Jesus that we can rise up and walk. We can rise up and be who God help us to be. It's in his name. And then the Bible says that, that John Peter, praise God, reached over and grabbed the Malay man's hand. And the man began to rise after he commanded him to rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. The Bible declared that the man got up and he walked.
Thank you so much for watching the Jesus is the Answers Deliverance Sanctuary, located at 5723 Eckerton Road in Greensboro. Where the pastor and founder is Bishop Clarence Humphrey and co-pastor Elder Grace Humphrey. If you need a church home or you want to come to visit us, our service starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Then Wednesday night is Unity Prayer at 7 p.m. following the Bible study. So make sure you come out to Jesus is the Answers Deliverance Sanctuary, located again at 57. 723 Atkinson Road in Greensboro. For prayer or information about this awesome church, or you just need someone to talk to, it's 336-375-3999. Again, thank you so much for watching, and may God continue to richly bless you.